and here we go with round two this time I just ordered a straight run I'll tell you why the last ones that I ordered I ordered uh, 10 hens and a rooster and I ended up with like six hens and four roosters it's, you got about those same odds if you just get a straight run and uh, I'll sex these in about two or three more days but um, I set the rooter up actually in the chicken coop I'll show you when I get down here what I got going on I've got the heat lamp in there they'll probably only need the heat lamp for a week or two because it is July it has been hot you can kind of see the setup I got here this is after I've done a whole bunch of upgrades to the chicken coop let me set these down and kind of show you what we've got There's just a big enough gap for me to get the extension cord in there so nothing could get in through the bottom. It's showing that it's 85 degrees here. I want to shut that door over there. But I basically put the dog cage inside here. Because this is probably the safest place for them as far as um, now that the chicken coop is fixed. So... I'll go ahead and get them in here. I'll get this door closed and we'll check the temperature here in a little bit. Get ready to take this lid off of here, see what they look like. They are all alive. So now let me get them in there. I can gotta do this one hand. I can't do this one handed, so let me go ahead and get this done. And just like that, they're off to being chickens, pecking the ground. Looking for food and water. They'll realize where the food and water's at. One's falling asleep right there. Show you what else I did. Just like I did the last time, I always take the delivery box, which has a heat pad in there. And a little bit of bedding. And I cut the end of the box out. And for about two weeks, they'll use this as like a security area. Even though they're going to be inside this coop and it's pretty good secure in here now. But that will uh, help them out a lot. So let me get this box in there and I'll show you how I do this. I just basically set it in there so that they've got uh, something they could run into if they got scared. And this is our final setup. The heat lamp is up there. And uh, the chickens are doing well. They're not like trying to stay huddled up, which means the temperature is fine for them. You see that we got our box that they were shipped in where they can go into if they need to. They got water here, food there. I did shut the door there. So I'll basically just shut this door and just come out and check on them every couple of hours. Check on them every morning, check on them in the afternoon, check on them in the evening. And uh, I've also got trail cameras now set up around the chicken coop. So if I see anything snooping around, I'll be able to take care of it. I also have a bunch of 110 conibear bear traps now and I'm going to be making mink traps that I'm going to be setting around this chicken coop as continuous uh, trapping for minks and uh, hopefully this works out this time and it don't try to eat through the roof again, it claws its way through the roof. If you haven't seen that video I'll link to it above. Basically what happened was I had chickens that I got back in February, I actually Put them in the brooder in the house because it was so cold out and then i brought them out at, at about i don't remember how old they were now six to eight weeks i think it was put them in the coop they were doing great they got to be about four months old and then a mink actually ate through and clawed its way through the roof to get to them and killed all 11 chickens in one night so uh starting over i lost four months of you know four months of time where had they been old enough to be laying eggs and gotten killed by a mink i could have thrown some eggs in an incubator and made new chickens but i had to order these because they weren't even old enough to be laying eggs yet so anyways i've done a whole bunch of work to the chicken coop i got that video coming up soon and uh as always thanks for watching 
God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads. Hopefully this works out this time. I do have one other thing I need to do this chicken coop to really make it secure. Well, technically two things. Um, I'll go over that in a different video. It's going to take too long to explain it. Anyways, thanks for watching.